Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? A really beautiful appetizer today. Simple to do, follow the steps well in the video and it's not difficult. It is spinach and feta rolls made out of my perfect bread dough. Little extra olive oil to give it a little fluffiness and layers. I've added whole wheat flour also to the all-purpose flour. You can do it just with all-purpose flour. It works very well as an appetizer, as a snack time for your kids, for the tiffin time, for the chotu chotu bhook in the evenings, whatever you want to do. It is beautiful. I love the way they've turned out. They look pretty and certainly sets an impression on your guests. So give it a try, do like, do subscribe and click on the bell icon for notifications. Bye-bye. Let's start making the dough. For this, we're going to take some whole wheat flour and some all-purpose flour. To that, we're going to add some jaggery powder. You can take regular sugar also if you want. Some instant yeast and some salt. Put the salt on the other side. Never add it on top of the yeast. Let's mix it together. So I'm doing the yeast and the sugar on one side, first with the flour so that the salt doesn't touch it. And now the salt. So this is fine, but never do it directly with the yeast. It will kill the yeast. Now to this, we're going to add a hydration. I'm taking milk for this. Never add your entire hydration at once because it changes according to season and each packet of flour works differently when you open it. Let's mix this. There's also some curd in this recipe, so adding that, mix it. At some point, you won't be able to use a spatula. You'll be now using your hands. If you have a stand mixer, definitely you can start from the beginning in the stand mixer. Adding rest of the milk. Mix it really well. Let's take it out on the work surface. And we're going to knead it with our hands on the surface. What I'll do now, I won't add water or any hydration. I still have my fat to incorporate. So let's add the fat first and then if we need, we'll see. So this is olive oil. This needs a little extra olive oil because you want the bread to be a bit fluffy for this. So if you think you need extra hydration, add it. I haven't needed it. Just gauge your dough. It has to be soft. You don't need to put pressure. It's just a movement of your hand. It's not a big deal. Here, the dough looks nice and smooth, soft. So looks like it's done. I'll just give it a couple more minutes of kneading. Take a greased bowl. In that, keep your dough. Just flatten it, cover it, and keep to proof for at least 40 minutes or until it doubles. So it depends on the weather in your cities. Let's make a filling. Here is some spinach, I've blanched it and finely chopped it, squeezed out all the water. This, we're going to add some pepper powder and some nutmeg. Take some feta and we're going to add that. Just mix it together. Don't make a mess of your feta, just a light hand and we're going to mix the whole thing. Here the mixture is ready. So I'm going to divide this into 28 portions and keep it aside for now. Let's check. Yes, it's doubled. So let's take it out. What we will do is, first you have got to divide this dough into half and then each half we'll divide into 14 pieces. So either you weigh it and do it exact or you eyeball it and do it, whatever you want. So after you've divided the dough, just bring it together, each ball. And like this, keep it on the counter till you work on all of it one by one. Take a dough ball, turn it upside down, just roll it out. So approximately three inches to three and a half. After you've made the circle, take a knife and we'll just make slits. We have to make four slits. The feta and the spinach, keep it in the center. Apply very little water on the sides. Take this, the right side, take the left side. Now take the one on the top and stick it here. Make sure you add the water, otherwise when you're baking it, it will all open up. Now the bottom half, press down the spinach a bit. 
like this let's make our roses they are all filled and ready we are going to keep it to proof for 15 minutes cover it with a cling wrap so that it doesn't get dry if you don't have cling wrap use some plastic sheet that you have and keep it in a non-draft place heat your ovens to 190 degrees till then it's proved really quickly here because it's quite hot if you over proof it it will become hard take some egg and just do an egg wash on it and now we are going to keep it in the oven to bake at 190 for 15 to 20 minutes until they puff up a little and they are golden in color all done I am keeping it in the oven till then work on your next batch here they are looking done so let's take it out it's a beautiful golden and they have all puffed up really beautifully some have opened up a little but doesn't matter with practice they won't now what we'll do is we'll take some butter and we'll just butter it lightly with the butter it keeps it soft and also gives it a very beautiful flavor so wasn't this simple to make makes a great tiffin snack evening snack and also an amazing appetizer so give it a try guys Thank you.